It is May 17, 2022. Now, yesterday we did a video about an individual that is on YouTube giving a false gospel. And so this response is to him. First of all, I'm going to say that in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, it reads, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I'm going to read to you one more time. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the men of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished in all good works. We're going to go over to Luke. This is the word that the Lord gave to me to give to you, Luke. And I'm going to start at let's see. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in the darkness shall be heard in the light. That which ye have spoken in the ear in the closets shall be proclaimed on the housetop. And I say unto you, my friend, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed, has the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. I just read the words of the living God, Jesus Christ. Luke 12, 2 through 5. Luke through 5. So when you said, what's he dangle us over hell? First of all, you were scoffing the living God. If you disobey the living God, you go into the lake of fire. Point blank period. So we're going to go over to the same chapter and we're going to read starting at 41, Luke chapter 12, 41. Then Peter said to him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even unto all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward who his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of me in due season? Blessed is that servant. Whom his Lord, when he come, this shall find so doing. Remember, doing is work, or you say service, doing. Of a truth, I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But if that servant says in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maids, and eat and drink, and be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looks not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder, and will point him the portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall beat with few stripes. For unto whomever much is given, of him shall be much required. And whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. I come to send a fire on the earth. What will I, if it is already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? I'm going to stop. That was 50. But there's another word I want to read real quick. So let me see if I can find it. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity to let one know that Jesus Christ is the living God, that he will judge every man according to his work shall be, and that we should obey him. Obey him. Okay, so you used scripture about abiding that the lord will abide with us you said he will abide with us and so i want you to 
to hear what our side of the biting is. You ready? Jesus said in, in John 15, I am the true vine, my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that bear not fruit, he takes away. Every branch that beareth fruit, he pur purges it, that it may bear forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit in itself, except that it abides in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abides in me, and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit, and without me ye can do nothing. If a man abides not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my word abideth you, ye shall, ha ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my, father's glorified, my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so I, will lo I loved you. Continue in my love. So, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I, I have kept the Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might be remaining in you, and that ye may, your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, and have loved as I have loved you. No greater love has any man that the man lay down his life for his friend. Ye are my friends. Ye do whatever ye do whatever I command you. Henceforth I do not call you servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord does. But I have heard of my father, I have made them known to you. Ye I ye have not chosen me, I have chosen you, and ordained you, and ye should go forth you should go and bring forth fruit and the fruit should remain and whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he may give to you these things i command you that ye love one another if the world hates you ye know that it hated me before it hated you if ye were of the world the world would love his own but because ye are not of the world but i chose you out of the world therefore the world hates you Remember the word that I have said to you. The servant is not greater than the Lord. If they persecuted me, they will persecute, will also persecute you. If they had kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all things will they do to you in my name's sake, because they know not him that sent him. If I had come and spoken unto them, they had Hit, not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sins. He that hates me hates my father also. If I had not got, done among them the works which none other man did, they had not hid sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their laws. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he will testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning." 15. So what we're going to do, my friend, is we're going to take your statement that's on the last video and we're going to take it apart and we're going to compare it to the Word of God because I just told you Scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for instruction and in righteousness. So we're going to take your statement of faith and we're going to compare it to the faith in the, in the Word of God and we're going to say which one agrees with what Jesus said and which one does not. And then you need to decide because every man needs to decide whether he's going to serve Jesus or not rightly. Because if you refuse, that makes you disobedient. And the disobedient go in the lake of fire. Jesus Christ is Lord. Seek him now. Shalom.